yeah, yeah. So what about the um the people that you collaborated with on like um, the album? I got I got my man Ghostface on there. Okay. Beanie Siegel, Max B, um D Block of course, okay. my young boy Bucky, my young boy Bully, okay. a couple of us here and there, Black Thought. So let me ask you something, like when you when you working on your album and you like what's the process like? Do you get the music, then you write? Because we know you don't write shit down, but when yeah. you get the music, do you write? And you say I get the music. On this joint. How did, what's the process like? That? I mean with the joint now, nah, I just um pick who I like mainly. Like if you listen to my first album. Only rap I have besides myself would have been um and my homeboys would be MOP. Yeah. Second album only rapper besides my homeboy was Tyler Quali. This one I went in a little more. But um now I fuck with people I respect who I listen to their work, I like their work, who um I don't try to go for who's hot for the moment and try to sell records. So I just thought about like listen to the song. I I think he'll fit on here. Crazy, like you know what I'm saying. So that's a call. Or oh, did something yourself? I wanted to do. Is it a call you played? Yeah, 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 yeah. Artists? I'm independent, so. You got relationships with, basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I made the, you know, I reached out, yo. Let me get you on this joint, and it was all good. All right. So let me ask you something. Like I know a lot of people wanted me to ask you. Like you called the Angie Martinez one day while 50 was up there, and he was like, "Yo, come to the office." Um. Uh, you know, we'll sit down and yeah. talk. Did you ever, did you ever take Nah, I'm going to still go try. I'm going to go talk to him one day, though, one of these days. Uh, yeah, because I I've think coming. a lot of, like, when, what made you call in, first of all? They said if you want to speak to me, um, <laughs> call in. All right. You don't tell somebody like me do something. I'm yeah, going to do yeah, it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you got you, something to say, he said, call up. So when you called up, like, what was you... What was on your mind? You was ready to like, cause you was kind of diplomatic with the. With yeah, no, nah, I mean, I was, been, I was, suit, though, you know, what I was saying? just trying to like, I'm, I ain't really care. Like, it really helped me out more than it. Yeah. It hurt me during that time, uh -huh. but it helped me out in the long run, cause it got me independent. Plus, I just wanted to show, you know what I'm saying? We ain't always gotta be assholes or ignorant. Like with me, my whole career and in the industry, it's always like, I right, street nigga. We know when he come. We know what it's gonna be. If it's a problem, we know what it's gonna be. And I'm trying to get money. I'm trying to mature, get money, try to get paid. But you fuck with me on the streets. You see how I move. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm alone. I, I'm chilling. I, I'm out here yeah. all the time. It's nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I do the street thing. But on the business side, I'm trying to get some money too, though. Okay. So I don't mind talking business. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you was to take the meeting and he say, yo, Styles. I got this record, I want you to jump in. What's the probability of us seeing that? Yeah, the check, I'm fucking there. Right. You know, yeah. I hop on it. He's a big artist. I ain't stupid. The hood is the hood. The rest of the world is the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? That'll help me out with the rest of the world. So what do you, you think? You know what I'm saying? What do you think the, the pure hardcore D-Block fans, how you think they would take that? I think they'll love it. Okay. I think they'll love it. I think before we had beef with them, a lot of them always just say, we want to hear you with that kid uh -huh. or such and such, such and such. But you know what I mean? Me, you know how to do it. If it's yeah, beef, it's yeah. beef. If it's cool, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I clear it out or it's even, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right so, um, you say you take the me and you do the rap. I do it all, man. I mean, I mean, I sit down with Puff. I'm cool with Puff. Yeah. What I've been through with Puff is is real shit. Like, you know so what, what I'm saying? What's y'all like? What's y'all like? I'm cool with Puff. He did the thing he ain't had to do. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it. It's all love. Shit, I would a nigga a favor if anything. So let me let me ask you something. Like, it seems like a lot of your, your situation with you, you hands on with it. We yeah, I'm hands on. We see you call with 50 or something. I'm hands on with everything, no matter how it goes. Is it to you to be hands on and not? I mean, they ain't gonna give a fuck about me if I don't do what I gotta yeah. do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no top of the no A list artist, far as industry wise. Like, far as when it comes to making music, making solid uh -huh. street music and, and, and street fans and street credibility, I'm that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Far as mainstream industry and all of that, I'm like, you know, I'm all right. Yeah. Like, I'm all right. I ain't but, at the but bottom but of the toilet pole, but I ain't at the top of the toilet pole or nowhere near.